Well, when I committed to doing a Facebook Live today, I didn't know that it was going to be on this topic. This topic has emerged. When I got back today from my power walk and was opening the gate to enter my home, all of a sudden I noticed that, and it's, you can see behind me, a blank spot where a piece of art had been. And I thought, what? This art has been here, wrought iron, for five years, and somebody took it. I was in absolute shock. I was disappointed. I was angry. It was a gift from a friend. I kept thinking about the fact that I'd had it for 15 years and now it's gone. And I really had to sit with myself a bit to ask myself, is this a story that I want to carry today and tomorrow and the days after? And then I thought about this whole thing because this is the entryway to my home. And this piece of art was the welcoming piece to people who came. And when I think about this year and all the changes that have taken place in all of our lives, in my life as well, my moving from doing in-person workshops and coaching to moving online to creating a new website to learning about social media and virtual tools, which has been an extraordinary challenge for me because I my brain is not wired for technology so it's come with some difficulty i ask myself what do i want to do as a storyteller about this story and i thought you know what i want to change it and the fact that there's an open space here is that not an opportunity for me to create something new something that expresses the growth that's gone on in this past year and what I foresee in 2021. So I went in and I fired up the computer and I began to look at different ideas and I began to do some sketching and I thought, you know, I'm going to have a new piece made that is a reflection of where I am currently. But it's one thing to have an idea, it's another thing to make it happen and I do not have the skill set <laughs> to do a wrought iron art piece, but I know someone who does. His name is, is uh, Hector Fernandez, and he is the same person who created, and let me see if you can see it, this extraordinary door actually into my courtyard and then into my home. And he's also done several other pieces for me. He's done a trellis on the back patio. He has done a, a special um, piece to hold a, some art that I had purchased from Venezuela. And I know he's the absolute right person to take my design, my drawing, and turn it into something beautiful. And at the same time, I have the pleasure of supporting as an artist and doing what he does best. And what's also wonderful about this is that Hector has great ideas. So I know that even when I show him my design, he will be making some suggestions that's going to make it even better. And so I'm grateful for the opportunity to create something new. And I'm grateful even for what happened because it's allowing me to rethink the idea of gateways and entrances, entrances and, and, and new beginnings and an opportunity for me to create some visual, physical reminder of this year, of the growth and of the new opportunities. And so as a storyteller, founder of Story by Design, what I've discovered is this, life just plain happens. And the question always is, what are we gonna do about that? What is the story that we are going to choose to tell? What, how can we reframe the story so that it serves us and doesn't deplete us, that it gives us energy and life rather than to take away our spirit? And so it's my hope for you this weekend that you have an incredible weekend and that you have an opportunity in your own life to perhaps look at a story that no longer serves you and ask yourself, is it time to change it? Have a wonderful weekend.